at 16, the very first medical intervention I ever had was a double mastectomy in the name of gender affirming care. I only had one consultation with the surgeon and one with the gender clinic before I was allowed to, to do this. I was not able to fully give consent at the time due to both my age and my mental health issues. A few months later, I was then put on cross-sex hormones and started taking testosterone. There was nothing wrong with my body. I was just a teenager that was uncomfortable. At 16, I did not understand what the long-term impacts of this care would be if you could call it care. I'm sure that was a difficult moment for Luca Hine. That is a biological woman who underwent gender reassignment surgeries, then coming to regret it as you were listening. She testified in favor of a Nebraska proposal that would ban gender reassignment treatments for children. It has a name. It's called the Let Them Grow Act. Now, if that act is passed, it would prohibit medical professionals from prescribing puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones to gender-confused youth under the age of 19. It would also ban sex change surgeries for minors. Kathleen Kauf is the Nebraska State Senator. She is the one who proposed the bill. She joins us live. State Senator, thanks so much for coming on here. Uh, a few yeah. questions about this one. Tell us why you pushed hard for this legislation. Um, what is the goal for you here? The goal is to protect all youth. Um, kids who are dealing with gender dysphoria are in a terrible, terrible emotional struggle. Um, they need to have the time and the space to let their bodies grow, and that's how we came up with the name, let them grow, to deal with the issues. What's happening is gender dysphoria is, is a symptom of something much deeper, and what's being treated as the symptom rather than the actual cause. So you have kids who are being told, hey, this will solve all your problems. You're gonna feel like you fit in. Um, you're gonna feel like you're yourself. And while they're getting treatments, it feels great. They're getting attention, things are changing. That change brings hope. What they've found in, in countries all around the world have started pulling back from this. Sweden is the the has been at the forefront of this for decades. And they have recently reversed their treatment and said, no cross-sex hormones, no puberty blockers, no surgeries. Only under extreme research conditions would they allow a minor to receive any sort of chemical intervention, medical intervention. Um, because what they found is after the surgeries and after these transitions take place, and please know, you're just altering the outside. You're not changing anything inside. After that takes place and, and the healing has come, has finished, people are 19 times more likely to commit suicide. So when you talk about um, this being a way to prevent young people from committing suicide, you're delaying an inevitability. You're not dealing with the actual problem. So this is to protect youths who are dealing with gender dysphoria. Uh, Nebraska is not the only one. Uh, there is a similar bill called Chloe's Law in Wyoming. That bill prohibits physicians from performing procedures for children related to gender transitioning and gender reassignment, banning gender affirming care. Again, spreading throughout the country, state by state, really. Sometimes it falls if, if, if you watch it on, a, on a party lines, if you will. Um, but what is your reaction to that? Seeing other states step up, and, and again, it, it's seemingly the same reason that you are uh, mm -hmm. that you have stated uh, protecting children. Well, and this is something that I've talked with several other states about, and I've asked for you know, the advice of Robin Lundstrom in uh, Arkansas and, and asked for people to help me. What has worked with them? How have they, have they talked about this? And what are you seeing in your state? And this is spreading. This is spreading throughout. And a lot of people don't think that this is a big deal. One of the pushbacks I've had is, well, this is a solution looking for a problem. It doesn't happen in Nebraska. You saw Luca Hine, and Luca came and testified for us, and she was incredibly brave. The doctor who coordinated her care was testifying in opposition to our bill. And Luca had a difficult time with that, but she still got up and she testified because this is so very important. She has been absolutely, completely, irreversibly damaged by this. And that's what kids do not have the capacity to understand is that this is irreversible. I was talking with one young man who would like to transition to a woman and his comment was, if I don't like it when it's all done, I'll just have it undone. Like, you can't. These are irreversible procedures. Once you've cut off a body part, it doesn't grow back. You can't reattach it. And that's what kids this age do not understand the finality of these decisions. All right. We'll leave it right there. We appreciate the time. That is Nebraska State Senator Kathleen Kalth.
State Senator, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.